it's time we blow this scene. Get everybody in the stuff together. Okay, three, two, one, let's jam. What's up, guys? My name is Brendan, and this is Student of the Community Cork Edition. Today, I'll be going through a bunch of different corks and giving you the best tips I can. If you guys want to be featured, all you need to do is direct message me your clips at Mastering Tricking. But with that said, let's get started. Our first clip comes from Jonathan, and his cork was pretty good, but he landed on his hands and knees. So let's give him some tips so he can land it successfully. First, I want to say that was a great attempt. You could easily land your cork, but you need more power. That is my biggest tip to you. Focus on getting more power in your setup. If you're going to do a J step, run into it. Put some momentum going forward so that way you can have some flip as you do your cork. You did a good cork and you had pretty good technique, but you walked into your setup and you didn't kick that hard. Next time you try your cork, put some power into it. Run in that J step, swing as hard as you can, and then execute the cork. If you add more power to your trick, you will be far more likely to land it. Our second clip comes from Jakeem, and he says he's having some trouble swinging a straight leg. He does a good cork, but he definitely lands with his chest low. Let's check it out. Yeah. Let's sit down. No, then move them. Yeah. Would you let's sit down? No, then move them. Yeah. Would you let's sit down? No, then move them. Yeah. First, I want to say you did a great job clutching out that landing by tucking your body to get your legs beneath you. But if you want that cork to be more consistent and stronger, your swing leg is not the only thing I focus on. First, when it comes to that swing leg, you need to be swinging more vertically. And if you're struggling to swing with a straight leg, try and point your toes as you swing your leg up. Of course, as you're swinging your leg down, you want your foot to be flexed so you don't hit the ground with your toes. But after you reach that, like, moment after you pass the ground, try and point those toes. That will help extend your leg to make it a little bit straighter so that way your swing will be just a bit stronger. But the other thing I think you need to focus on is your spotting. As you did your cork, you were looking at the ground pretty much the entire time. When you do a good cork, you need to be spotting forward as you swing, backwards as you flip, to the side as you twist, and then down for your landing. If you're not going through this whole spotting sequence, your chest and your body is just not gonna be able to move properly. The last thing you should do is put more power into it. Just like the first clip we saw, you pretty much walked into your J-step. If you can get more momentum in your setup, your cork will be a lot more powerful. But you did a great job clutching out this landing, so if you can get some more power, everything will be far better. Our third clip comes from Pedro. Unlike the first two clips, he puts a ton of power and momentum into his setup, but unfortunately, he still doesn't land. So let's check it out and give him some tips. Ooh, that's good. Ooh, that's good. Ooh, that's good. Pedro, that was a good cork, and you could easily do this trick, but you rushed the twist. As you were doing your set, you only flipped a little bit before you started pulling in your twist. What I would strongly recommend is focus on your flip and to jump off the ground before moving into that twisting position. If you want to help condition your body to do that flip, what I would recommend is just drill a ton of J-step gainers. The J-step gainer is just the cork without the twist. So if you can get really good at getting that flip, that will translate directly to the cork. But your technique was really good. You just rushed the crap out of that twist. So if you can swing a little bit straighter, 
get that flip and then pull it in, your cork will be far better. Our fourth clip comes from Eric and he sent us a super strong cork, but there is always room for improvement. So let's give him some tips so that way his cork can be more consistent and stronger. Eric, that cork was super solid. You did a great job swinging straight to get the flip you need, being patient in your set, wrapping that twist, and then opening up a bit before you land. But if you want this to be stronger, consistent, and a little bit cleaner, what I would recommend is focus on your arms. You did a great job of using them to set and twist, but as you're exiting the cork, you need to open up your arms to slow your twist so that way you can land soft. What you did was you twisted into the ground and that's why you spun after you landed. If you can open up your body a little bit after performing the twist, you'll be able to land the cork far softer and that way it will probably be more consistent. Our fifth and final clip comes from Connor and he sent us not one cork, but two. Let's check him out and give him some tips. Connor, the first thing I want to say is that is a huge accomplishment. Cork swing cork is not easy for anybody to learn. I myself really struggled when I was first learning the trick. But if I can give you some tips to improve it, the first would be to focus on your spotting. As you do a cork swing cork, you want to be spotting forward as you're swinging for your first cork, back as you do your set, over to the side as you move to your twist, and then down to spot your landing. But as you swing for that second cork, you need to look up to swing properly. What I saw you do was your eyes just got stuck to your landing. If you can look up as you perform that second swing, your swing won't be as far to the side and you'll have far more flip. Thankfully, you're strong and fast, so you are able to tuck your body to clutch out that landing. The second thing I think you should focus on is your swing leg. If you can swing that leg more straight and with a little bit more inversion, that will give you more flip. And when you're doing a cork swing cork, you want more flip to offset the off axis twist you need to perform the skill. The last thing I think you should focus on is your arms. It, your arms as you did this were like everywhere. If you can get a little bit more control with your arms to swing forward, pull into that twist and then open up in that eagle, your cork swing cork will be far easier. But you did a great job of this trick and I know it will improve with time. Thank you so much for watching and a special thank you to all the patrons supporting Mastering Tricking. If you guys didn't know, this channel is supported by viewers like you, people in the community who have a little bit of extra money who want to invest in something great. I want this channel to become something great and to be something very valuable for the community. So if you guys can invest in me, I can help you out personally with your tricks and give you a ton of other rewards. If you want to learn more, go to patreon.com slash mastering tricking or howtomastertricking.com. But thank you guys again for watching and have a lovely day.